Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So I did not know just how popular this show was, to be honest. I randomly saw season one because it was recommended to me by someone, I can't remember who. I randomly saw it on like IMDb, I guess. I, I don't know, I don't know how I got into it, but it was on my list of TV shows to watch, right? And it was next on the list and I thought, yeah, see one season, season two coming soon, I'll watch it. And it's about this stalker, a psychopath who is uh, obsessed with a girl and wants to make, make her fall in love with him and he runs into her boyfriend amongst other things. I can't, I'm not gonna say anything because again, spoilers. No spoilers for season one or two. No spoilers at all. I made a video already though on season one, in case you didn't know, sharing my first initial thoughts on season one. Um, but it's crazy, like this guy clearly messed up. And when I watch it, I'm just like, part of me is like, why am I watching this? And the other half is like, it's actually a good storyline in a way. Like it's about a psycho and it's from his point of view but storyline wise and just show wise it's really interesting uh it's weirdly interesting because it shouldn't be because the guy's messed up like it's an effed up show about an effed up person but it is fictional obviously but still like it's a bit mad the things he does and to be uh, to be watching that is is kind of mad but but for some reason the show just hooks you it just keeps you wanting to see the next episode wanting to see what happens to certain characters amongst other things there's so many different things going on um, in this show. Different characters. He's not the only psycho in the show. And in season two, sorry about that. In season two, he's not the only, yeah, I mean, you get to see it in season two. Like there's other people that aren't that much uh, better than him, shall we say, without spoiling it. Um, there are certain things that happen in season two that just it just gets more bizarre than season one somehow. Uh, when just when you think it couldn't it just gets crazier um it's one of those shows that's where you're just like this is crazy and then somehow it gets even crazier than crazy it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous this show um but it's interesting it's messed up but very interesting um and i recommend checking it out although you might not like it all i'm gonna say is if you haven't seen it watch episode one of season one if you don't like it then no need to watch it just watch episode one that tells you all you need to know about what the show is about like literally that sh that episode shows a lot it's a big intro but anyway season two is what this video is about and it's a good show um that's messed up it's a messed up show that's good that's my thoughts <laughs> basically if i was to rate season two i'm gonna say eight out of ten for story um i think for a story about a psychopath um who does some obsessed things who's who's a big stalker i think it works and the fact that you hear his thoughts as well makes it even more crazier and um, i just think it works on all levels and the ending was very interesting so if there is a season three i'm looking forward to it because that ending to season two was something else it wasn't a cliffhanger but it was it was I, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued now. I want to know what happens. Uh, but I assume there's season three coming. I think it's confirmed actually. So I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, season two is a mad one. It gets madder than the first one. Um, I don't know which one I prefer to be fair. They're both crazy seasons. I'm just going to leave it on the rating actually. I, I don't know which one I prefer. I, pre I think season two is slightly more actually. Because it gets. The chaos is a lot more. It's a lot more mental. And there's certain characters that you would just want to like get caught, and uh, not him, but like other characters that are not good people in this video, in the, in this in this series. So um, sometimes he goes up against someone who's also a bit of a psycho as well, a bit of a uh, criminal. And when it when that's happened, you're kind of conflicted. You're just like, wait, who's in the wrong here exactly? They both are. But yeah, that's what I got to say really. Um, but if you haven't seen it, um, then watch episode one, unless you're too young. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.